You know, I thought 500 years ago the cigar was owned by like something like Mayans. You know, dirty cashew. <laughs> it tastes like dirt on cashew. I will give sixteen dollars for this cigar, no problem. Every single day. Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And uh, today we have, yeah, today's the day I ate. So we can have a bigger cigar. And this is the HVC 500th anniversary Solomon. So here's the thing like, I don't really feel like cigar has that long of history, to be really honest with you. 15, 19, like, Nobody there is alive still. I don't think the people that owns the cigar today is anywhere related to the people 500 years ago. So, you know, I thought 500 years ago the cigar was owned by like something like Mayans. You know, so this, I, I don't know why people celebrate cigar things that really had nothing to do with them. Anyways, so this thing is get a size for you six and three quarter by 56 obviously it's a solomon msrp is 1350 and the wrapper is nicaraguan coloro 99 jalapa and binder and filler is all nicaraguan which filler has the criollo and the coloro 99 all right so you know this thing is very hybrid <laughs> very very hybrid Let's get started. I mean, this thing, it's going to take a while to smoke. It looks very powdery. It feels very powdery. Um, smells kind of like cocoa. And pepper. With a slightly open foot, should be okay. Let's get started. I mean, really call this a Solomon? Because this technically is a torpedo, right? I tried to figure out where they half assly taped the cap. Cold draw, leather, cocoa. And, ooh, chili pepper. Ooh, that burned. Yep. A bit of tobacco touched my tongue and it burned. It burns. Crazy. Okay, as usual, turn on my fan. Now you gotta ask Tony, why didn't you just turn on the fan before you start, start recording? You gotta know, right now it's the winter season. It's really cold, right? So I, I turn on my heat. I let the place fill with heat. Then I turn on the fan so the heat... It's already at to a certain level. I don't freeze to death while the heat's escaping through the event. So, all right. And today we're talking about Saint Dupont in the chat room. So might as well Saint Dupont. Let's go. You know, it is kind of a, a work to use the soft light to light up your cigar. But it does make the cigar smell better and less burn, to be honest with you. Oh.
，好冷啊，成日好冷，好冷，好冷。Starts out with hey, and then Coco. Leather, cedar, and ends with a little bit of barnyard. And pepper, chili pepper. It burns. I'm gonna cut this just a little bit more. The draw is a little bit tight. This thing has a really weird cap. It's like a half-ass cap, but it's cap. Much better. Oh. Dirty cashew. <laughs> it tastes like dirt on cashew. Yeah, cashew nut. But dirt. All right, so let me smoke one third. I'll be right back with this uh, HVC 500 anniversary uh, cigar. It, 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 so the initial taste is kind of promising. 1350. We'll see. Should be. Be right back. One third of the way. Actually, I almost forgot it's one third. Like, cause that was um it was very comfortable smoke. Chatting with uh the members in the Legion, and I kind of forgot that I was smoking. So, anyways, let me um first third. Woodsy, toasted nut, a little bit of hay. Sweetness. There's there's a lot of sweetness and chocolate. Well, cocoa. If you want to say, uh, it's more close to a cocoa. Uh, and some pepper. That kind of pepper kind of just died down, but there's still some pepper. It's a very enjoyable cigar. It's actually quite nice and balanced. It's not harsh over any taste. You can taste it, but it's not killing your palate. It's just there, and, and it's mellow. But yet you can taste it, right? So I think the first there actually starts out pretty well. It's it's really pleasant. Flavor, not harsh. Strength about uh, medium. Uh, I would say almost lower than the medium, but medium. Very nice cigar. So far, so good. Um, I would prefer to have the flavor even ramp up just a little bit so that I can taste a little bit more because right now the sweet is dominant. It's there. You wish that sweetness goes with anything because there's a sweetness, but it doesn't really go with anything. Just sweet. Uh, I wonder, I, I'm hoping that if it goes like, you know, maybe the sweet cedar or sweet cocoa, but right now it's like cedar, you know, uh, toasted nut, uh, 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 chocolate cocoa, and it, and then sweet. The sweet is just like on its own. It's very like sugar, you know, it's very not telling you what kind of sweet it is. So I wish that it would kind of ramp out a little bit on the second, third, uh, so that we can see what kind of sweetness that is. So without further ado, let's go to second, third, and see what kind of sweetness that brings. Be right back. Second, third. Um, you actually get more of a chestnut cocoa taste. Pepper is only on the right hole, so it's only on the nose. It kind of like blending a little bit. I don't know. Uh, it didn't get stronger. Uh, it just shift the flavor a little bit. Uh, still medium-ish. It didn't go the way I want. But it still tastes really good. And also, the side starts to crack a little bit. It didn't affect my draw. In fact, I kind of loosened up the draw for me a little bit. It's actually pretty good. So, so far, a pretty good cigar. I would say this is a smokable cigar. Very, very, very affordable price in that case for Solomon. Uh, what was it? thirteen fifty or something like, that, something like that? I had to look up that price again. But... I will give $16 for this cigar, no problem. At this moment. I had to go back and see how much it was. But 16 I think this cigar is worth $16 or even a little bit more. It, it actually tastes pretty good. 
I can enjoy the cigar for this size, Salomon. Uh, no problem at all. So, Laster, let's finish up. Hopefully, it ends well. And then we'll go to summary. I'll look up the price again. See where I am at. But $15, $16 for this cigar, no problem. All right, be right back. All right, finish. You can see I'm like knobbing this thing. Definitely. $13.50, understatement. I, I think I can pay uh, $16 for this one. It's actually a pretty good cigar. Now, the last third, um, let me let me refresh my mind a little bit. It's more of a nutty taste, nutty and wood taste with the rim up a little bit more pepper uh, and woodsiness. The chocolateness is like kind of gone. Um, there's still a little bit of sweetness to it. So it actually makes it better. It's like a more balanced kind of thing because you feel like the, the flavor kind of work with each other more, like more harmonized more. It's it's pretty good last third. Like, like I said, you don't really usually see me not being a cigar. And this cigar is that good. So I would highly recommend people to go find a cigar for $13.50. You're getting enough smoking time. You're getting an enjoyable cigar. It's definitely a good cigar. So... I would recommend this cigar. It's one of those times where, I, you know, rare time where you go, hey, you know what? The cigar's worth more than what they're charging for. Uh, pretty good cigar. I liked it. Uh, there is a part where it kind of like burn wonky and exploded. And I fixed it one time and I didn't have to do it again. After that, it was fine. So definitely a good cigar. Construction is not too bad. I minus that part that kind of exploded. I cracked. But like I said, fixed it one time. Forgot it. Never happened again after that. Enjoyable cigar. Um, I don't know if they still sell it, but if they sell it, you no, know, you should definitely get it. So, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hesitate on it. I mean, if I see it, I'll probably get it. All right. So that's it for this cigar review. I hope you enjoyed it. It's one of those cigars I enjoy, you know, pretty good for chatting with guys and enjoy a cigar. Definitely good. Uh, yeah, 16 bucks. I will pay 16 bucks for that. 13.50. Easy, easy stuff. All right. So if you like the cigar review, like, subscribe, uh, share, and big thanks to Eric sending me the cigar. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe because um, I'm on the road trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Help me out. I'll see you guys in the next review. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys.